Hello, in this video, we will continue building the login system. In the last video, we created a Lambda function to confirm the account using the confirmation code received. Now we will create the Lambda function for signing in. Log in to your AWS console and search for Lambda in the search bar. Click on Lambda in the menu. Create a new function. Give the Lambda a name like sign in. Then set the runtime to Node.js. Click Create function to complete the process. Now open the AWS SDK documentation for Cognito Identity Provider. Search for Initiate All and hit Enter a couple of times. You should see the link to the command. Click on it. Copy the import statement and paste it inside the Lambda function at the top. Now go back to the documentation and copy the rest. Paste the whole thing inside the handler function. For the client, replace config with a pair of curly brackets and put region, colon, and the region you're in. Now delete everything in the input except for the required ones. For the auth flow, use user password all since that's what we define in the Cognito user pool. In the auth parameters, we need to pass in the username and password to the account we're trying to sign in with. Put username for the key. Then use event, square brackets, and username for the value. We need to do the same for the password. The client ID is for the Cognito user pool app client ID. Together for the one that was created earlier, search for Cognito in the search bar at the top. Right click on it in the menu and open in the new tab. Select the user pool, go to app integration and scroll down to the app client section. Select the app client and use the client ID in the Lambda function. Save the code and deploy it. To test this, click on the arrow next to the test button and select configure test event. Give the event a name like login test. Then edit the JSON by setting the first property to username. Followed by the email that was used when you created the account. For the next property, replace it with password and use the password for the account. Save the changes and click on test. If you get a 200 response with the access and ID token you successfully logged in. That's all for this video. In the next video, we'll use the API gateway to create our own API so we can execute these lambdas in Unreal Engine. If you find this helpful, give the video a like, share, and subscribe to support the channel.